Water is one of the most important substance on Earth. All plants and animals must have water to survive. If there was no water, there would be no life on Earth. Apart from drinking to survive, people have many other uses for water. These include cooking, washing their bodies, washing clothes, keeping houses and communities clean. Directly or indirectly, water affects many things in our life. Without it, there will be no vegetation on land, no oxygen for animals to breathe, and the planet will look entirely different than it does today. Water is necessary to keep the people's body and the environment healthy and should be valued and protected as the precious resource. It is very important for us to make sure that the river or water supply in the earth is always clean. One of the bigger issues in Malaysia this year is the Kim Kim River issues. And I believe most of us, especially the Malaysians, would have high concern on these issues. Today, we are going to discuss on the Kim Kim River issues, which is the pollution happening on the Kim Kim River. As an overall trend, the dumping happening on the location under the bridge in Kota Masai on 6 March. The first wave of toxic pollution happens on 7 March, which result in 103 victims in the surrounding area. The second wave happens on March 11, and the third wave happens on March 12, with resulting in 366 victims around the surrounding area. Sungai Kim Kim is located at Pasir Gudang. As we know, Pasir Gudang is one of the main industrial hub in Malaysia for transportation, shipbuilding, logistics and heavy industries. All of these activities automatically contribute to the water pollution in this Sungai Kim Kim. This is because it is usual for factories to discharge their waste into river during heavy rainfall to enable the pollutant to dissolve and be washed away with the rushing water. On 7 March 2019, there are a big water pollution incident happened at Sungai Kim Kim due to the illegal chemical waste dumping. The waste was dumped under a bridge connecting Taman Pasiputi and Taman Kota Masai. The location was just roughly half a kilometre away from the first affected school, SK Taman Pasiputi and SMK Pasiputi. A total 2.43 tonnes of chemical waste were collected from Sungai Kim Kim during the cleaning process on the day the incident was reported. According to the latest Environmental Quality Report was released by the Environment Department, Sungai Kim Kim is a Class 3 river which means that it is polluted and requires intensive treatment. Mainly, the causes of pollution in Kim Kim River have three waves. First wave, the Kim Kim River toxic pollution is a water pollution incident that occurred on 7 March 2019 caused by illegal chemical waste dumping at the Kim Kim River in Pasir Gudang of Johor in Malaysia. Then, for the second wave, on 11 March, the spray of the toxic film is aided by the hot weather combined with strong wind that made more people to become sick. Malaysian Fire and Rescue Department Director explained that the further spray of toxic fumes might not have re-emerged if the illegal dump chemicals farm early were immediately removed since the authorities did not dispose the chemicals after concluding it is no longer reactive due to the cost involved. For the third wave, the number of students from school in Pasir Gudang area began complaining of nausea, dizziness and experienced vomiting which eventually led to the temporary closure of the schools in the area. The authorities later confirmed it as the third wave of air poisoning resulted from the river pollution which are not fully clear. I'm glad to see
talk about the three aspects, which are environment, uh, economy, and social, towards the society or river uh, to become a politician. In environmental aspect, as we can see here, the picture of Sungai Kim Kim in 2012 on the left and 2017 on the right. Both photos were taken from the beach to the Tanjong Lansung commercial area. Sungai Kim Kim really gives a huge effect towards environment, especially aquatic life. Energy, Science, Technology, Environment and Climate Change Minister Yo B. Yin claims the state has stepped up enforcement against Iran factories in Pasir Guda. Removing pollutants from the 1.5 km stretch of Sungai Kim Kim where chemicals were illegally dumped will cost approximately RM6.5 million. She said that the cost of the cleaning operation as a whole would be more than RM10 million. The chemical waste pollution in Pasir Gudang since March has led to a decrease in catch and fisherman sales to drop. Many life destroyed or asli live off the sea used to fishing and catching crabs to sell in the market. Nowadays, they say there are no longer any fish or crabs in the sea in front of their village. Sungai Kim Kim not only affected environment and economy, but also in social aspect. 1,906 individuals have been affected by toxic film from Sungai Kim Kim, with 276 cases referred to the Sultan Ismail Hospital in Johor Bahru. The film were said to be caused by chemical illegally dumped into the river. No death have been reported, although 12 victims have been treated at intensive care units. More than 70 people, including many students, have been treated after being exposed to the toxic fume, according to the Star newspaper. The symptoms included breathing, difficulty, and vomiting. All schools in Pasir Gudang ordered shut for three days, including 111 primary and secondary schools, three institutions of higher education, 14 private and international school and 350 private kindergarten. After this incident, the authority has assigned a clean-up team to clean the river. About 100 people is involved in the team, including the contractor, safety officers, firefighters, and the member of DOE. The team need to make sure that the harmful chemical content in the river is removed or reduced until a safe level so that it won't harm the residents nearby. Total of 1.5 km of river area is clean and the cost is up to 6.4 million. Now, people started to ask, who is going to pay for it? Who should take the responsibility for this incident? A lorry driver who directly threw the chemical waste into the river and three directors of the company that produced the chemical waste are now charged at the session cost and they need to receive the punishment once being verified their faults. This incident had increased the awareness of the public on pollution issues. Hence, the inspection of DOE on the factory at Pasir Gudang is now become more strict. In conclusion, we hope that every party can put effort and pay attention on water quality issues to avoid water pollution. Thank you. 
distance between the Pinky River and the Tesco Ecotropics is only 700 meters. Hence, the effect on the people around them is quite serious. In the conclusions, there are lots of lessons we should learn from these issues. There is a quote which says, Mistakes are made, lessons are learned. Therefore, for every mistake we made, we must be able to learn something valuable from it. We should take the necessary actions to overcome it as we desperately need further and better actions to protect our environment in order to have a better quality of life, not only for humans but other living creatures as well. There will be more cases like Sun and Kim Kim if we fail to protect the environment. So, all the respective parties, the government, the community, and individuals should play their roles and responsibilities in taking care of the environment.